Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we're going to show you a little feature in Excel that a lot of people don't know about and that's called the sunburst chart and it's a really useful way to chart or graph information that's related that has some sort of hierarchy. So let's take this scenario. So here we've got basically a category of grades and then we've got subcategories. So in each grade there are subcategories of who the heads are and then for each of those heads for that particular grade there are going to be different students allocated to those particular teachers. So if we wanted to chart this, we could use a really nice sunburst chart. Now the only thing you have to do to this data to make sure that it works is to make sure that we have a value. So I'm going to add a value at the end here and I'm just going to make it one because I want all of these blocks to have the same size. So I'm going to click one over there and then I'm just going to make sure that I copy all those ones down. So there we go. All of them have got ones. So that's going to be my data. Each one of these has the same size as each other. That's what I want to keep the size. That's why I keep it a one. If I want one to be worth more than another, then I can actually change its value. But let's just keep it to that. And so we can select the data. So I'm select all this data. And then I'm going to come here to insert. And if I come over here, I can't really see the sunburst charts. I'm going to click here on the dialog pop up to find recommended charts. And it recommends some charts for me, but none of those are sunburst. I'm going to go to all charts and right there is our sunburst one there. That's the one that I want. So that's what it's going to look like. So you can see the inner circle is all the different grades and then it divides it up into the different heads and then the different students names on the edge. So let's go. OK, we want that. And there is my sunburst chart. Now you'll notice some of them are blank and that's because it just couldn't fit in the text. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and make it even more bigger. And there you can really see a nice representation of your data. So there's the grade 12s, there are the two heads, and there are the students allocated to those heads. So a really nice way to distribute that type of information. You can change the colors over here if you want, or you can change the style. If you want to change a particular wedge's colors, remember when you click on it, it's selecting everything, and you can click on it again, click on it a third time, and then you can get just that particular wedge. And then you can right click and format this data point or you can format that fill to be a different color if you want. Lots of options available to you for a sunburst chart. Let's try another example quickly. So over here I've got dinosaurs and I've got them based on their different types and in their different periods. And I want to create a sunburst chart for the different periods and then the types and then the dinosaur name. Now the problem with this is I actually have to manipulate this information a little bit. I need to make sure my main category is first, then my subcategory, then my sub subcategory. So I'm actually going to select this and move this over here. And then I'm going to move dinosaur name to be the third option. And then I'm going to move my period back over here. So that's the first thing to make sure I've got my main category, subcategory, sub subcategory and then your values and it must be sorted you'll see if I make the chart now it doesn't look like the way I want it to look and that's because it's not sorted so make sure that we select our data and we're going to come here to sort custom sort and our data does have headings but we sort it by period first and then we're going to sort it by top so make sure your categories are grouped together so there we can see there's the Cretaceous and all of them grouped accordingly. Then you can see the Jurassic and the Triassic. So you can see that they're not evenly distributed, but let's see what it looks like when I go insert a chart. Okay, so th let's select the data. We're going to come here to recommended charts and we're going to select all charts. Let's go to Sunburst. There we go. I'm going to click OK. And there you can see, obviously, that the Cretaceous has a lot more options than the Jurassic and the Triassic. But if I make it bigger, you'll see that those gaps, those ones that don't have any values, is just because the text can't fit. So if I keep making it bigger, you'll see that the text eventually gets there. If I make it even more bigger, you can see those ones that were over there are now visible. Okay, so there we go. So that's a nice way to create a visual representation when you've got categories, subcategories, even more categories to display it using a sunburst chart. Help your fellow teachers out by not only clicking on the subscribe button, but also sharing this channel with your friends so that we can help them. Leave us a comment about what video you would like us to do next. And remember, we are on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.